I'm doing something like this aircraft motor overload I will show you how to fix it please click like and subscribe welcome from Froxtech tips again this time I will be showing you how to repair gimbal from start to finish as you know we need to first remove the battery and gimbal protector and check if it's all is all good if it's not any stiff on the gimbal once you check all these you can go for the repair which you need to remove four screw under the battery as you can see on this video once you remove the four screw under the battery you need to remove two screw on the back once you've done this just turn ups and down your drone and remove four screw near the gimbal just be careful two screw is smaller which is on that cover and the rest of them is the same size don't worry you can mix them yeah one of the screw got a white glue inside you can just remove that and to get the unscrew this screw under this clip which is cover the front legs is another two screw which is also the same size as another screw everywhere else on the drone on this top cover once you've done this you will be need to use best two hands for this you need to squeeze the top part top case and don't worry just take it off like you see on the video it's not hard to do don't worry about the clips it's a little bit not broken once you've done this you can go for remove the gimbal you first need to be sure you gently remove all black glue which is on every single connectors and unplug all flex without the damage once you've done this unplug the power cable from flex and unscrew four screw which is holding the gimbal once you're doing the last screw hold best way to hold your gimbal with hand or doing like I'm doing on the video <laughs> okie dokie now we can go and move to the gimbal as you see on start of this video this Mavic Pro got a motor overload gimbal problem which has been happen by damaging flex because the owner don't protect his gimbal with the gimbal protector when he moving the drone and take the drone around okay let's go to do once you got the uh, gimbal down you'll be need to remove the signal cable first but careful it's so fragile cable you can damage so easily and after that just remove the flex cable hold your vibra motor with two finger a little bit up and unscrew two screw which is over there you can see them easily this screw is absolutely different as another screw you can mix them at all once you've done this just slide down your flex cable if it's not broken over that small hole is there and just remember how it's going because you will be needed uh, once you put it back uh, after that you will be need to put every single cover down just follow a step don't you can make a mistake because L screw is the same just put one cover each on one times and just follow screw by screw step by step and pull gently and just be sure you're not damaging your signal cable at all because once you damage the signal cable it doesn't have a picture on your ca camera as you can see the cover from the gimbal is easy job done and not problem at all to do it I think everyone can do it don't forget to click like and subscribe for this video if it's helped you or you can ask any any question I'm more happy to help you or answer your question once you got all cover down gently remove all black glue just be careful don't damage the connector on the board and gently remove the flex connection from the board if your cable is damaged don't worry about that just use strange or whatever just clean that properly after that you take it off if your 
flex is not sure not sure is damage be careful because you can make a big damage and also be sure you not make any damage on the connector as you can see the one step from the lens to middle of connector there is a small round of cable and you will be need to remember how this round is going around this because it's sometimes tricky to do that and once you've done this just take it off and it's all done remember when you put the new flex put the first new round which is going on the middle part and just take it back with the long cable which is going to connection or your, to your lens and just take it properly put back on the middle part first turn around and stick the lens a second which is usually help you make it more easy don't take any of the sticker now put there because you need to be sure your gimbal is working properly and last step just try check on my video properly how I done it and you can see you need to put the flex first and after that stick the protection tape and just put your flex over the vibro plate on the top and we done once you done this just put all of your cover back just be sure the cover is on the, is on the right position and not damaging any of the signal cable as you can easily make a problem with this if you're not putting on the right because there's just so many small coaxial cable on the signal cable it's li really like microscopic coaxial cable and once you will be put it on the wrong position and will be on one of the hole can make a problem and you'll be cut cable with the screw Once it's all this done, uh, you can remove the old sticker and stick your cable on the gimbal. And after that, just first push inside your power cable, hold with your one hand, put the one screw in, and you can continue with another free screw which is holding the gimbal but I usually like on this one I just put on two screw connecting all flex cable gently I always use tweezers you can use your hands it's really up to you just be sure you don't make any more damage once you connect all flex cable from front vision camera and board flex plug in your power cable for gimbal plug in your battery and try switch on to see if your gimbal is fixed or not hopefully you if you done all good your gimbal will be fixed and there will be no more issue if it's there more issue you can have a problem with engine on the gimbal but hopefully not like I said this drone have an invisible damage on the flex I really can find it but once I change the flex it's actually all good and all working again once you all test it just plug in back first the GPS connector on the top of your case be sure you mark all of your clip and just use strength and clip down your top case you can see I using my one hand but it's better to using two hands put the top four screw under the battery two screw on the back of your drone and once you done this you will be turn your drone up and down to make a sure you put the long screw over there on holding your legs and on the legs cover it's going that two different smaller screw just screw them back 
for the gimbal protector you can test it to see if it's all working or not but on this time it's all working as you can see i doing the test fly and all working correctly thumbs up guys thank you very much for watching this if you want a more detailed video you can find it on my channel please subscribe click like ask any question go to my facebook page or whatever you do whatever. yeah hopefully all you like it and i help you this time as well see you guys soon on my next repair video bye